What did it say? Yeah, hi, Allison. This is the Bing Pulse system where people were watching out there and recording what they thought. And overall, look, this is the 50% line here. Overall, people liked the speech who were involved with this. If you look at gender over here, the split, men and women, you'll find that by and large, women liked a little bit more than men. But look at this. When you get to party, that's where you see the big differences. The blue up here, that's the Democrats. The Democrats liked it at every moment more than Republicans or independents. And importantly, the independents tracked very closely with the Republicans. Trust me, a lot of politicians in this town are watching that closely. Now, let's look at a couple points here that are really worth noting here. This is the highest overall point in the entire speech where most people in all groups liked him the most. And what was he talking about there? Defining the problem. Listen. ISIL is a terrorist organization, pure and simple. And it has no vision other than the slaughter of all who stand in its way. In a region that has known so much bloodshed, these terrorists are unique in their brutality. They execute captured prisoners. One of the lowest points in the entire speech came here. This is where people were not very happy, particularly the independents and the Republicans. What did they not like? They didn't like any talk about American troops on the ground, even as trainers. Listen. We will send an additional 475 service members to Iraq. As I've said before, these American forces will not have a combat mission. We will not get dragged into another ground war in Iraq. But they are needed to support Iraqi and Kurdish forces with training, intelligence, and equipment. So what was the one area, though, where people really disliked this speech the most? It's way down here. Even the Democrats had trouble stomaching this. The independents and the Republicans way down here. What was the president talking about here? He was talking about jobs and the economy and his accomplishments. He injected politics, pure and simple, and at this time, nobody had a stomach.